All right, y'all, it is Tuesday, and you know what that means. It is time for another Sisters Trailer Breakdown. Now, I did the first trailer breakdown last week, so if y'all have not seen that trailer breakdown, go and watch it. But, baby, this trailer, oh, this trailer right here, oh, they did not come to play. They is serving all type of TEE, and we finna get into all of it. So, here is the second trailer breakdown for Sisters Season 7B. Okay, y'all. So the first clip of the trailer is a recap of the first half of the season. They threw a little refresher in there, even though we don't need no refreshing over here because we know what's going on with the Gamma's Arms. But they threw that in there. Now the rest of the trailer is very crazy. So let's get into that. Now in the second clip of the trailer, we see Karen, Aaron, Danny, Zach, and Fatima all at Karen's house. Now I don't know what's going on with the Gamma's Arms here. But I'm going to tell y'all what I think. Now, I think that Danny is there probably to talk to Karen about the argument they had at Rich's Juice Bar. And I just don't think that Danny should be apologizing to Karen. Maybe Karen is going to apologize to Danny. We don't know. Now, as for everybody else, Aaron, Fatima, and Zach, I think that they are there because Karen will probably call them over to let them know the TEE about what's going on with that DNA. She has to break the news to Zach that, yes, you are the father of one of the babies and she needs john aaron dna so that's probably why he there either way i hope this situation don't get out of control i am so sick and tired of john aaron and zach arguing karen and fatima arguing at the end of the day if they don't want to coexist they still gonna have to co-parent so somebody needs to be an adult and start the conversation because these babies is on the way and they is nothing to stop for nobody y'all need to get it together y'all are whole parents now in the third clip of the trailer, Danny is back in Tony's office trying to get a refill. Mm -hmm. And they are interrupted yet again, but this time by this woman. And Tony says to Danny, this is my wife. And Danny said, wife, why do you say wife? And so it begins. Now, I done told y'all over and over again that I did not like Tony. It's something about him. And now I know what it is. He is a lying, cheating, son of a B-I-T-C-A. Age. So you telling me that the whole time you've been with Danny, you out here whole married. So Danny, your mistress, your side chick. If we wanted to see her with a married man, if she wanted to be with a married man, I would have much rather her call Preston and spend that block. Because I think I speak for all of us when I say that we would much rather be on that block. Tony, we don't care about you, sir. Now, I don't care what excuse he come up with as to why he is still married. That is still information he should have told Danny and let her decide if she wanted to still continue this relationship. Now, we know Danny, she probably would have still let him hit it knowing that he's married, but she definitely would have quit it. You got her meeting your kids doing all this for what? It's a lie. It was all a lie. Now, with that being said, can we please wrap Tony up ribbon in a bow and bring back Preston? Oh, uh, welcome back, Rodeo. The fourth clip of the trailer has no commentary, but we don't need it. We can see. And what we see is Hayden and Marie in this room, and Sheena dropped her robe down to the ground. And maybe this ain't finna be good for nobody. Now, I hate Sister Hayden so much, I'm starting to like him because I respect his hustle. He do whatever he gotta do to get what he want by any means necessary, even if that means sleeping with this woman. Now, we know that he still got Tamara and he sprung on Tamara, but is he really still sprung on Tamara? Mm -mm, I don't think so. And I think that if he had to choose, he would definitely choose being partner over being married. And he know that Marie is his ticket to become a partner. Child Lord. And Miss Marie, I am so disappointed in you this evening, ma'am. Out of all people, you gonna get a Punani to Hayden? Now, this whole season, you've been talking about doing your research and had you three, four, five steps ahead of everybody, including the good Lord himself. So I know you done done your research on Hayden and you know how slippery and slimy he is. You talking about protecting your money from your husband and his family. Please get Hayden a Punani and see how fast Hayden don't pull a Uno reverse on you and come after your money too, sis. You is too old for this, girl. Any man in the world, but you gonna choose sister Hayden. Child, go to hell. Oh, but wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold up. What if Miss Marie is testing sister Hayden to see if he will sleep with her? 
If you doing that, then I take back everything that I just said. But if you really trying to sleep with him, sis, then guess what? I said what I said. In the fifth clip of the trailer, we see new Jordan having a drink with his new hire, Ethan, I think his name is. And we see Ethan slip something in new Jordan's drink. Now, why would you do that, Ethan? What was the reason? Now, we know that Ethan is on Gary's payroll and Gary has been actively trying to take New Jordan down. We all watched Gary's first attempt to take New Jordan down fail miserably, but you know what they say. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. And that is what Gary is doing by bringing Ethan in. And y'all want to know what I think the new scandal is? Mm -hmm. They trying to pee Diddy New Jordan. Because why do you slip and stuff in his drink, sir? When I first seen Ethan, I was like, oh, he looked like a good sus. Child, Andy, you better hurry up and get home because your man is in trouble. In the final clip of the trailer, we see Gary snatching up Andy, threatening her by saying, I will make sure you the one they go looking for next. Which means that the police is probably looking for Penelope because where is Penelope? And we know that Andy is probably the one who went and filed the missing person report on Penelope with Jordan. And now Gary is there to threaten her and scare her. And of course he did just that because Andy is crying and I'm trying to figure out why she crying. Sis, I am so sick of you being a victim. Hit him back. Just hit him one time. Take off your heels, them red bottoms, and do damage. That is a whole weapon you are walking on, ma'am. And where is Fatima, Andy? Since you want to take her everywhere with you, you should have had her escort you to your car. Mm, now you got to stand on your own tin. But anyway, y'all, that was that on that. I will be back next week with a whole new video. So come back for that. In the meantime, between time, watch the videos from my other shows. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's have a conversation down in the comment section below. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias. I will link them down in the description box below. And yeah, it's your girl, Cindy Renee, and I will see y'all next week. Peace.